All right, so in our previous lesson, we saw that we can create different question types within our quiz. In this lesson, I will show you how to create short answer questions as well as an alternative to short answer questions. So let's jump right into our course. Remember, we are busy with functions. And we are in the category, the basics. Okay, so let's go to our question bank. And within our question bank, let's go to questions. And we already created these questions. Okay, so for our new question type, we click on create a new question. And then we select a short answer question. Let's click on add. And now first, we need to make sure that it's in the correct category and we use the default for functions. That's correct. Now the question name, we want uh, the learners or the students to evaluate a certain function. Okay, so and this is my question. So here in our question text, we type or copy our paste our question. So here's my question, write y equals x to the power of 2 plus 4x plus 1 using the function notation and evaluate the function at x is equal to 3. Okay, so let's just increase that size. Let's make it medium. Okay, nice. Now our default mark stays at 1. So we want to give them one mark for the correct answer. We can leave the ID number and we can leave it at uh, no case sensitive is unimportant and then my correct answer will be 22 and this we choose here 100 percent and this, this is my correct answer we can provide feedback and we can provide an alternative answer okay let's leave that blank click on save and here we have our short answer so let's view this Okay, so there our question is, write y equals x to the power of 2. And now the learners need to type the answer. Let's check if the answer is correct. And there we go. There's the correct answer. So in short, this is the short answer question. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's click on create a new question. We choose short answer, add. And then it will make sure that's in the default category. Then the question name. That will be my question name as well as my question text. Let's increase the size here to medium. And let's make it center. Okay. So there's my question. And my answer will be 11. And this is 100%. Okay. So let's click on save. And there's my second short answer question. Let's just preview this and test it. There's my question. My answer is 11. Let's test it. Okay. In short, this is how we create uh, short answer questions, but you can see the limitations. If you look at it closely, the learners can only type in an answer and they won't be able to actually use uh, different answers or use the text notation or algebraic notation for to actually add their answers. OK, so next up, I'll show you an alternative to the short answer question. OK, for that, we need to install a plugin. So let's go to site administration. It will be the gear icon next to your name, site administration. And when you click on plugins and install plugins, you'll see you have different options here. You can either install it from the Moodle's plugin directory or you can upload a plugin and we'll use this option. So let's go to moodle.org.
Okay, so when you land on Moodle.org, let me just go to the home page. So this is Moodle's home page. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see here under downloads, there's plugins. Click on plugins. Once you're here, uh, search for short math. And this is the plugin that we'll be using. Okay, so let's click on short math. You'll see there it's version 3.11 and there's other uh, earlier versions. So let's download this. So this downloads to your um, downloads folder and you'll see here it's downloaded already. Okay, so let's go back to our Moodle instance. So from here we click on choose file. Again, choose file. Then go to your downloads folder. Either double click or click and open and this will upload the file. Let's click on upload this file. Okay, so once it ends up in this box here in the upload folder or the upload window, uh, let's click on install this plugin from the zipped file. Now it's validating the plugin if it's the correct version. Click on continue. Now you need to scroll to the bottom and click on continue. And there it's uploaded and installed. And now we can click on Upgrade Moodle Database Now. All right, so here it says Success. And there's my question type. I click on Continue. And there it's installed. Okay, so let's go back to our course. And now I want to show you how to create a question within that uh, plugin we've just installed. Okay, so let's go to our question bank and go to questions. Okay, we've recently created these. Let's click on create a new question. And now when you scroll down, you'll see that short math is actually a question type. So let's choose short math. Let's click on add. Now, basically it's the same. Uh, we leave it on the default category and now we need to provide a question name as well as question text. Okay, so let's increase the size. Let's make it medium. Let's scroll down. We leave it on its default mark. We can provide general feedback. But what you see now is uh, there's an edit toolbar to this question type where learners can build the answer by choosing one of the menus. Okay, uh, my correct answer is 22. Let's make this 100%. I leave the others blank and I click on save. Let's scroll down and here you'll see the new question that we've just created. Let's preview this. So now you see there's my menu. There's my question and yes, the learners can input their answer, but they can also use the menu to actually input an answer. Since they don't need the menu for this answer, uh, they can just type it in. But if we have an, a question that re, uh, requires them to build an answer from the menu, uh, either these menu items, we can use the, the learners can use the menu items to build their answer. Submit and finish. And there's my question and my correct answer. Okay. Um, so as easy as that, we need to install the plugin and then we can create a question. The installed question type will end up here. Click on add. And now make sure that it's in the correct category. Give it a question name and a question text. Choose a default mark. You can provide general feedback. There's our toolbar. And for this question, we actually don't need a toolbar, so we can uh, leave it out. Okay. Then our correct answer is 11. Let's make this 100% since this is the correct answer. And now we can click on Save Changes. And there's my second question. Let's preview the question. So now you'll see that the toolbar isn't displayed. Okay, and the learners can type in their answer. 
In short, this is how we can create short answer questions by either using Moodle's default question type, the short answer question type, or we can install a plugin called Short Math and use this question type. Okay, so now that we have four more questions, let's add these questions to our quiz. So let's go back to our course on functions. Within our category or our section basics, let's go to our quiz. And here within our quiz, we go to our quiz settings. Let's click on edit quiz. And here are all our questions. And now we can click on add questions from the question bank. And we select our four questions that we've just created. So here are four questions and now let's click on add selected questions to the quiz. So there's our four questions. Click on save. And now we can preview our quiz. Let's preview it. Okay, so there's our 11 questions and there's our first question with our menu. Our short answer question. Another short answer question. And then our last short answer question without the menu. Okay. In short, this is how you create your short answer questions as well as adding them to the quiz. In our next lesson, I'll be showing you how to create a calculated question by using wildcards and different variables to set up a question.